Now that we have all of our dimensioning finished, we can go ahead and give this a title and any other notation that we're needing, such as material information, part information, and revision numbers, anything like that. You can just go ahead and do the multi-line text box, such as we did for the multi-liter information, and go ahead and run it down the side of your project. For now, let's come over and do a single line text, place it up here and hit enter, and we will call this jig plate tutorial. Hit enter. Exit out of that, and notice how it's assumed a size that's quite a bit smaller than we're really wanting. So let's go ahead and select that. We can come up and let's change this to titles. And then let's switch that over to 12 points to just make it a little more visible. And then we can hit enter. And that is now a bit nicer. And we can select it and reposition it as we see fit. Hit enter again. Now, this is just about ready to plot. So if we come over to output, we can go preview. And that's not looking like we want it to when we actually print it. So if we can come up to page setup manager and select modify. Plot area on what to plot. Let's tell it to plot to the extents, just like we did when we first zoomed in. Now if we tell it preview, that shows us exactly what is going to come out on the paper when it is printed. So let's tell that OK. And go ahead and close this. Now if we tell it plot, and here again it comes up with the extents right there. We don't have a name or anything for this, but we can actually select what printer we want, including an Adobe PDF. So if I go ahead and hit OK on this, it's going to convert this to an Adobe PDF that I can then distribute rather than a hard copy. But again, this is Devin for softwaremedia.com and I hope this tutorial was helpful.